Hey, Dad. What? You want to go get some barbecue for Memorial Weekend? I hope you're joking. No. Oh, shit. 24 hours I've been cooking. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Risky. First off, we need to cut this piece off right here. And everybody that said this knife ain't sharp, hey, you don't really know. This thing will cut your freaking hand off. I know, I accidentally cut myself just a bit bad boy. Do that. Alright, alright, you take this, you flop it on there. And then you're gonna get a rub it all over it. Put it all, just stop it all over me. I don't care how much you put on it, I don't care how much you do. It's basically a binder and it keeps your your brisket moist. It makes great bark for you. This here is my secret seasoning. But I top everything off that for kosher salt and pepper. Oh mesquite wood right there, baby. Put it on a damn pit. Now, you're gonna take it, you're gonna put it in here. A lot of people will put it like this, but the thing cooks in different levels, and I think that's a big mistake. You'll figure that out about most pits. But if you do it like this here, fit it in there just like this here, then this whole thing will cook very evenly. That's two hours. It's regular. After about four hours, starts spritzing. Keep the water down. Walk. That be six hours. Cut it against the grain. Good piece right there. How's it taste, Dad? <laughs> Cheers. Mm. All right, here we go. <laughs> That's sleep food there.